Let's look at part B of question 7 of the May 2024 CSEC Mathematics paper. It says the number of regular hexagons, H, the number of sticks, S, and the perimeter of each figure, P, follow a pattern. All right, so you have that. The values for H, S, and P for the first four diagrams are shown in the table below. Show the pattern of numbers in each row of the table and answer the questions that follow. All right. Now, here, I have copied that part of the question, right, over here. And had worked out some part of it in order to save time, right? In fact, I'm going to want you to sit down with your paper and uh, make an attempt at working out some of these things, all right? So I've got some things worked out already. We're just going to see how we can figure out the answers there. Here. Remember, we had done diagram 5 in part A already. Now, they want number of hexagons from here. Diagram 5, let's look at it. In diagram 5, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 hexagons. So, that's 11. Right? We have 11 hexagons. So that's that 11 right here. Then, the next thing they want is the number of sticks. Alright? Now, they also want N. The to, to fill out the, they want you to fill out the column beside N as well as this number. Now, here, in order for us to get the 23 here, we have a 47 given. But we wanted to figure out how did we get this value here? How did you get the 3? Well, it's obviously the number of hexagons but can we come up with some pattern of numbers we add subtract multiply and divide some pattern of numbers to generate the 3 5 7 9 11 and the 47 what i figured out if you multiply 3 by 1 you get 3 good so you had this 3 here just as we have the original 3 if we multiply 2, 3 by 2, we would get 6, we wouldn't get 5, we would get 6. But if we subtract 6, 1 from 6, we get 5. Alright? 3, 2, 6 minus 1, we get the 5. Alright? Um, the 5 is hidden behind here. Let me just erase this 0 to get, see the 5. Alright? Then, here... 3 by 3, this number of, this number here, the diagram number by 3, we get 9. But if we subtract 1 from 9, we don't get 7, we get 8. So we subtract 2, we get 7. Good. 4 now. 4 by 3 is 12. 12 minus 3 gives you 9. 5 by 3 is 15. 15 minus 4 gives 11. All right. So we say 1 by 3 minus 0 gives us a 3. All right. Now, here, how do we get it for the 7? All right. We say x is this number. We could use n. All right. Even though there's an n down there, 
the lower column but let's use n n is a nice letter to use n is the number the figure number n by 3 good minus what this with minus 0 is 1 minus 1 right 1 is 2 minus 1 this 2 is 3 minus 1 gives you 2 4 minus 1 gives us 3 5 minus 1 gives us 4 Right, so n minus 1 we minus n minus 1 so we have 3 times n minus n minus 1 23 by 3 just like we have 5 by 3 23 by 3 minus 1 less than the 5 1 less than the 4 1 less than 23 so that's how we get the 47 so we say 3n or we get this we say 3n minus n minus 1. If we open the bracket, we have minus n plus 1. So 3n minus n is 2n plus 1. And we get the 2n plus 1 here. Right? So we have this part filled out. Now, oh my, why it jump back over here? Where were we again? Oh, I might. All right. So now, the number of sticks. We need to figure out a formula for that. Oh, by the way, the 47 was 23. We got n, n, and so on. So we figured out that if we say the 3n minus n minus 1 equal 47. Or we, got, or we figure out the 23 is to say 3n minus n plus 1 equal 47. When we open the bracket, 3n minus n is 2n plus 1 equal 47. 2n is equal to 47 minus 1, which is 46. And we divide 46 by 2 and we get 23. Alright? So that's how we got the 23 there. Now, here, number of sticks. All right, we could count the number of sticks, right? Here, in diagram one, the number of sticks is 15. What was the diagram again? So here, if you make these individual, um, if you make these individual, hexagons you would have one two three four five six sticks each so each individual hexagon has six sticks the total number of sticks for three of them as in diagram one with three sticks would be 18 but when you put them together if you're going to make this shape this and this and this well, you would need those sticks so you put them aside all right these are the, these you wouldn't need them anymore. So if you had made the original hexagons first and you put them putting them together, you would just remove these sticks. So it is 18 minus 3. So 3 by 6. 3 hexagons by 6 each, but you remove 3 to get the 15. And you would do the same thing to the others. 5 by 6, you would remove 7. Because the ones you remove would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. You would remove 7, 6, and so on. So you'd remove 7 sticks. Same thing with the 7 by 6. 7 hexagons by 6 sides minus 11 sticks. 9 hexagons by 6 sides minus 15 sticks. 11 hexagons by six sides minus nine six so this six is the number of sides all right so it's going to be something by six always now here we had to figure out what number would come here beside the five so it's eleven quick um figure five has 11 hexagons multiplied by 6, 
total number of six sticks but you minus those 19 and you get 47 so it's 47 that would come here all right so you have 11 here and 47 here so you'd have 11 here and 11 here and 47 here all right now <coughs> You need to figure out what would come here, right? This. How would you get it? All right. If you consider this carefully, you have this would be number of hexagons times six. Number of hexagons times six. Seven by six. Number of hexagons times 6, number of hexagons times 6, 9 by 6, 11 by 6, 47, 47 hexagons by 6. So this came from, let me move this 8n plus 7, oh no, oh boy, this 8n plus 7, let me just write it down here for a while. And erase this. So, number of hexagons. We looked at this a while ago, the 2n plus 1. So it would be 2n plus 1 times 6. Remember, just like how you have the 47 by 6, the 9 by 6, and so on. This this number by 6 minus minus what how did we get these 19 and 15 and so on all right we counted but guess what now you see this 7 2 by 3 all right number of hexagons by 3 is 6 minus one less than the number of than the diagram number three two three six minus one i mean plus i mean one oh boy am i saying this number is the is five times six the number of hexagons times six all right this is number of hexagons times 6. But what we're concentrating on is the number to the right that we subtracted. Right? The number to the right that we subtracted. 3. Good. This is 3. This is 3. This is 5 plus 1. 7. Okay. No, how do we get this and this? What do we subtract? We subtract 3 plus 0. We subtract 6 plus 1. We subtract 9 plus 2. We subtract 12 plus 3. How do we get the 12 and the 3? All right. Three, 4 by 3 is 12. Plus one less than the number the diagram number the nine three by three so this figure come from the number of hexagons the, the diagram number by three diagram number by three right is six plus one gives you seven three three is nine plus two two is one less than this right here four trees is 12 the 15 comes from 12 plus one less than the four right the diagram number now here this is the number of sticks you know so you're subtracting you're subtracting three the, you're, you're subtracting no, the diagram number by 3 
plus one less or the number of hexagons I mean I'm mixing up myself the number of hexagons by three you're subtracting the number of hexagons by three plus one less than the diagram number number of hexagons by three plus one less than the diagram number right number of sticks number of hexagons by three right plus one less than the diagram number you see it from the pattern here right so this should minus minus what the number of hexagons number of hexagons 2n plus 1 times 3 plus 1 less than the diagram number plus n minus 1. So this is 2n plus 1 minus number of hexagons 2n plus 1 times 3 plus n minus 1, 1 less than the diagram number. So it's 2n plus 1 minus, open bracket, multiply these by 3, 3, 2, 6, n plus 3, 1 is 3, plus n minus 1. So we have 2n plus 1 minus 6n plus 1, n is 7n plus 3 minus 1 is 2. So what we have here is 2n plus 1 minus 7n minus 2 so 2n plus 1 minus 7n minus 2 so we have let's make sure we didn't make a mistake here we have the Number of hexagons multiply by six. Good. So the number oh, I didn't multiply this by six. Number of hexagons should be multiplied by six. Six times this. All right. I was figuring out I did something wrong somewhere. I left that off. Minus and then we minus the diagram number by three. All right which is the diagram number by 3n so let's do that part again right so here we have our 47 by 6 which is the number of hexagons 2x plus 1 by 6 minus, minus what? We're minusing the diagram number. Oh, it's the diagram number n, you know, by 3. We should minus. Minus 3n plus 1 less than the n. Right, that's it. Right, that was my mistake earlier. So, let's look at it again. So, if we multiply out this. 6, 2 is 12. Plus 6, 1, 6. Minus 3n plus n minus 1, it would be 6, 12n, right? 12n plus 6 minus 3n plus n is 4n, so it's minus 4n plus 1, because the signs would change. Alright, so 12n minus 4n is 8n, and then 6 and 1, 7. So that's how we get the 8n plus 7, right? So we have 8n plus 7 here. Alright, what else did we need? Um, yeah, so this figure here, here now. We had the 23 here. So we need, we need it to find out what comes here. Alright, we look at the patterns and we see 12. So here we have 
5 by 6 minus so this is the number of hexagons by 6 5 by 6 minus which minus 7 the same 7 here but this time multiply by 2 so just look at it looking at it through and trying to follow the pattern even by trial and error for a while we come up with this right so this is 3 by 6 let me rewrite it in green 3 by 6 minus minus what minus this 3 right 18 minus 3 by 2 18 minus 6 is 12 and we see that if we say it's 5 by 6 minus 7 but we multiply 7 by 2 we get 30 minus 14 so we do it on my calculator here 30 minus 14 gives us 16 all right this 7 by 6 minus 11 but this time only apply 11 by 2 7 6 is 42 minus 11 2 is 22 gives us 20 right could try that with a calculator and see 9 6 54 9 by 6 minus 15 so we're basing this now from this but we make one modification right we multiply this n number by 2 as the perimeter because here remember we remove two sticks number of sticks is 15 now the number of sticks we remove one from each corner with the joint from each joint so it's 15 but for the perimeter we completely ignore it so we move 15 by 2 if you remember the figure here the number of sticks Remove one stick from here, right? And then we remove one stick from here and one stick from here. Good, remove three. But when we're considering the perimeter, we're going around, right? And we don't go inside here, we don't consider here at all. So remove two sticks. So for the perimeter, we must multiply the number of sticks. In the joint by 2 so 11 by 6 minus 19 by 2 all right so here now this was 47 by 6 minus it would have been here this 19 came from the 15 by 4 right plus 4 So, here, I mean 15 plus 4. This 19 comes from 15 plus 4. What is that 15 by 4 earlier? Right? The 15 is 5 by 3. So, this plus 4. So, this would be coming from 47. This is 47 by 6. Minus. Suppose you consider this here, 23 by 3, 23 by 3, we did it here, minus, or plus I mean, this 23 minus 1, oh, let me just clean up here a bit. Alright, let's redo it further down. Uh, we have a looking first piece. This was 23. Alright, let's just erase it and start over in this space. We don't have much space outside there. So, what we have here is 23 times 3. 
just like how we have the 15, 5 3 is 15, 23 by 3, plus 1 less than the 5. So we're going to have to plus 1 less than the 23. Alright, plus 22. It's 47 by 6, same thing here, 47 by 6, minus 23, 3 is 69, 69 plus 22. Alright. So, it's going to be 47 by 6, minus 69 and 22, 9, 10, 11, bring 1, carry 1, 2, 6, 7, 8, and 1, 9. So we end up with 91 here. And we times 2. If you use a calculator to work this out, right? Let's use our calculator and work it out now. Let's use our calculator. Alright, so. What we have here, oh, we did it earlier, is 47 by 6 minus 91 by 2 equal, and it would be 100. So, what we have is that 100 would come here. Then we go down to the last row now. We had figured out this 2n plus 1 already and this 8n plus 7. But how did I get this 4n plus 8 again? Alright. This 4n plus 8 business. Let's figure it out. This was 11 by 6 minus 19 by 2. So what we have, right? is number of hexagons by 6 number of hexagons by 6 so the number of hexagons here is 2 n plus 1 right let's erase what we have here and work it out number of hexagons this is what we're working out here all right so it's 2 n plus 1 times 6, we follow the pattern, 11 by 6, 9 by 6, 7 by 6, and so on. Minus, minus something, minus what now? It would be minus, now here, you have, for example, the 76 plus 1, where you get that? 2 times 3, right? The diagram number by 3, diagram number by 3, diagram number by 3, plus something. Diagram number 4 by 3, plus something. So the diagram number here is n. It's 3, n by 3, it is 3n plus something. I'll put in bracket there. Plus what? Alright. Oh. Uh, yeah, it's this we're dealing with, it's not plus. It's multiplied. Uh, it's multiplied by 2. Right. Um, here, we have... We minus 11. Oh, yeah. Yes, yeah, so the diagram number here. We have 9. We want to see how we get this 11. We got this 11 first and then we put it here. Right. How did you get this 11 again? It was 9 plus 2, but how did you get the 9? Right? This 3, 3 is 9. So 3, 3 is 9. Number of hexagon by 3. Plus 1 less than the diagram number. Plus n minus 1 than the diagram number. Right? Remember, this 15 it came from. The diagram number, the diagram number by 3, which is 4 by 3 plus 1 less than 4, one less than the diagram number. Remember, this 19, it came from 5 by 3, 15. 
the diagram number by 3 plus 1 less than the diagram number 1 less than 4 which is 15 plus 4 so what we have is diagram number by 3 plus 1 less than the diagram number and minus 1 and then what we did we do after that we multiply by 2 because the two represent the two sticks we, we ignore where the, um, the hexagons join all right so this is the formula of what we we um simplified we say six times this six two is twelve n plus six one six minus multiply by two get two three six n plus two times n minus one so if we go on we would have twelve n plus six right it's a bit thicker minus and then it would be six n plus open this bracket two n minus two ones two we have twelve n plus six minus oh six n and two n is going to be eight n and then minus two so this is twelve n plus six minus open the bracket is minus eight n plus two so we have twelve n minus eight n plus six plus two and then what happened after this we say twelve n minus eight n is four n plus six and two eight so that's how we got this four n plus eight so that's um part b of the question